Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. We'll start the timer, head over to our screen. We're going to talk about the leading tone seventh chord in this video. And we're going to start by working in a major key. Let's just go ahead and do C major just to keep things nice and easy. The leading tone seventh in a major key is in, uh, or is has the quality of a half-diminished seventh chord. And it typically, just like any uh, normal dominant function will lead to the tonic chord. We'll do it in, in uh, root position, although this chord tends to be inverted a lot of the time because the leading tone really is sort of a, a weak dominant chord. So the leading tone seven is going to be, let's go ahead and put this up here. It's a B half diminished seventh, and that's B, D, F, A. So I'll put the A here, and then what we have left is D and F. And that works great there. The chordal seventh I placed in the tenor, so it needs to resolve down to a G. In the next chord, this is a C chord, so we have the C. We need another C and we need an E, so we don't have any common tones with which to work there. But we can just move these other two voices down easily by step into the next chord. And we have a nice beautiful leading tone, seventh resolving into tonic, and everything is good. Now let's try the same chord progression but in a minor key let's take the same key signature but the relative minor which is a minor so i still left a couple of little dots there a minor and then we're going to do a leading tone seventh which is actually a fully diminished seventh chord in this key and it's going to be a g sharp diminished seventh. We don't need to depict that G sharp in the figured bass. If you think about the concept of figured bass, it is indicating the generic intervals above the bass. And if we're putting the accidental on the bass, you can't depict that because it's intervals above the bass. So we just do that with the um, accidental that we have there. So this is going to be a G sharp B D F. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the B here. So I know that's pretty far away from the bass, but remember the bass can be as far away as it needs to be. And then what we have left is the D and the F. And if I, I put them like this, then they're nice and evenly spaced. The F is the chordal seventh. So it needs to resolve down by step, not to a D, but to an E in the next chord. And this is going to be an A minor. So we have the A, we have the E that uh, leaves us remaining another A and a C. And just as we did in the other example, we can do it like this. And we have a nice, beautiful leading tone seventh in both major and minor. It's pretty easy to deal with just as with dominance. Be careful in minor to raise your leading tone. If it's in root position, it'll happen in the bass like this. And actually, you know what? We even have enough time to do one that is not in root position. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a leading tone six five. And let's lead into a tonic six, how about? So leading tone six five, it's the same chord except the B is going to be in the bass here. So the G sharp is gonna be somewhere else. I'll go ahead and I'll put it here. And since that's the sixth above the bass, I put a slash through the six. And then we have the D and the F remaining. So this is getting to be very similar to what we did before. The next chord is an A minor in first inversion, boy. So we wanna try, if we can, to double the A here. So we could potentially do that by jumping down a fourth. Not really advisable, but let's see if that does work or not. So what we have left is the E, and that does actually work out. So remember, if you leap a perfect fourth, you don't have to worry about that uh, oversized leap uh, issue. We could um, potentially try to voice it another way, but we would have a really big Savoy problem if we tried to do that. This works out great. We do have that one leap, which is, is definitely easy to deal with. We don't have to worry about the oversized leap rule or anything like that. And that covers all the leading tone seventh chords really that we need to know. Thank you.